Welcome to another episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm Tom C. with my good friend Dale Shields. We're at Pinecrest Campground in Salem, Missouri. This is going to be a great show where we're going to take you back to where our viewers have said this is their top choice. What are we going to do, Dale? Well, there's a lot of things that's going to happen this weekend. The trails here are beautiful and groomed. It's going to be uh, some great trail riding. The RV sites are perfect. Pavilion with uh, campfire pit and folks are just enjoying being here. It's just a beautiful place. You're gonna entertain with your music that's so well loved. And you'll do Cowboy Church on Sunday morning. Yes. We can't talk about Pinecrest without talking about Marie and Ethan. They own and run the campground. And truly, there's not another campground in America where anyone does a better job of befriending you, taking care of you, looking after you, and making sure everything is perfect. These folks need to be on your bucket list to come to Pinecrest. I'm Tom C. with Dell. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm Dale Shields. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, we are here at Pinecrest Campground near Salem, Missouri. It's been about three years since uh, Best of America was here before. There have been so many upgrades, so many things have been improved upon and built here. Just a great location for folks who want to bring their horses and come and trail ride. So many amenities in the area, canoeing, floating, Folks just love coming here because uh, this is just a beautiful place. Greg Salidas, St. Charles, Illinois, and this is TJ. My name's Ken Sanderson. I'm from Olathe, Kansas, and my horse's name is Buckshot. I'm Tommy Park from Arkansas, and this is Tucker the Wonder Mule. Mike Crutchfield from Grain Valley, Missouri, and this is Annie. What do you think your guests expect when they come in this driveway? They expect to be well taken care of and they expect a good experience here. Um, we try to provide everything we can for them. So we do pay attention to what they ask for and we try to take care of all their needs. So one thing they do ask for is shade, which we provide that for them. Very Covered well. stalls, we have that for them. How many years have you all had the campground? We're going on our seventh year here. Uh, you've made a few improvements over the years. We've added some new stalls, so we've got 30 new stalls, pipe stalls in the back that are all covered and have water at each site. And uh, we also have full hookups that we've added. Those are all new in our horse section. And then we've also added a whole new RV section. So anybody that doesn't ride horses, we've got a section for all of them also. Crest Campground and uh, what a beautiful place to ride and I know that you spend a lot of time here is that correct? Yes, yes I do. And why do you spend time here? I love coming here. They have the trail set up awesome. Uh, the, obviously they're amazing people. They go out of your way to help you do everything. Um, they even help some people park their trailers but even it goes up beyond that like the manicure on the trails, they are always working on making more miles on the trails or maintaining them. I just, they're all around amazing people. When we uh, first pulled into the campground last night, Ethan and Marie show up. Mm -hmm. um, they are there to help. What do you need? How do we make your stay good here? Yep. And it seems like ever since we've been here, They've just been from camp spot to camp spot, checking on everyone, yes. doing what needs done. Yep. Is there a favorite trail that you have that you'd like to ride here? I love going down to uh, Susie Nichols Cabin. Okay. I love it. I've, I've been riding that trail since a kid and I, it never gets old. When you're out at Susie Nichols Cabin, 
what's going through your mind? What are your thoughts there? What you forget about all the cares of the world? All of it. Like I, I love riding down there. It's like all my childhood memories pop up. Just future, planning future memories. Like I could ride that trail over and over and over, and it will never get old. Guests can access over 100 miles of trails on both private and public lands that can accommodate any level rider. I am Janice Elrod. I'm from Iowa, and my horse's name is uh, Jimmy. I am Hugh Elrod, and this is uh, my horse Jesse, their full brother and sister. I'm Judy Weaver Mastic, and this is Tonto. His registered name is Royally Paid Four, and I just owned him a few weeks. I met Outlaw in Cobalt Park, and this is that. We're Hal and Mary Battacletti. This is Tex, and that's Amarilla. And we're glad to be here. Trisha Berge, I'm from Avila, Missouri. Outside of Joplin, this is Gus. Hi, I'm Donna Gladstone from Worth, Missouri. This is my horse, Bettens. Her real name is She Pushes My Bettens. The cabins. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, we've got two right now. We're planning on building more. We've got one that has two beds in it and sleep four people. We got one that has three bedrooms with a full kitchen and everything, and sofa will sleep up to eight. What are some of your future plans uh, for the campground? Uh, as like far as the future, we want to add more cabins. We would like to add a couple in our horse section for all our horse people, and then we'd like to build a couple more cabins up front here for the RV people and a bigger shower house down below also. My name is Lisa Lehman, a horse name is Fancy, and a registered name is Cowgirl via Hancock. And we love Best of America by Horseback. I'm Dale Shields with Best of America by Horseback. We're here at Salem, Missouri at Pinecrest Campgrounds and Cabins. Went out on the trails this morning and um, enjoyed the morning. It was uh, a little bit cooler than it is now. Yep. <laughs> and uh, you have done a fantastic job with um, grooming the trails, mowing the paths, and uh, it was really nice out there. We well, appreciate you. what you did. The folks that come here are come from a, a wide background. Yep. You have horse riders. You have people that come with uh, uh, side-by-sides, uh, RVs and you're able to accommodate all of those folks. Yep. What, what do you see as the, uh, the general uh, pleasure of all these people? What's, what do they have in common? Uh, everybody wants to get away from the town, get away from work, and come out here and have a good time. What's one of the most common uh, comments that, that you hear from campers when they come here? Uh, usually they're just amazed at how beautiful it is here and how peaceful it is. Well, it is that. And um, we know that you've made, as we've talked about earlier, a lot of improvements here. Um, over the seven years you've been here, have you seen the clientele um, improve and, and the numbers build? And, oh, yeah. And what do you uh, attribute to that? Uh, just fixing things up and making it nicer for people. And it makes a big difference. It does. People want to be cared for, and uh, you guys certainly do that here. Um, you've got the office with the store inside. Tell us a little bit about the store. Uh, we try to keep just about anything anybody needs in there, just about. From toothpaste to barbecue sauce. To parts for RVs. Parts to RVs. <laughs> and uh, you supply ice for, yep. for folks. And, ice, um, propane exchange, hay, shavings. Hello, I'm Andy Massman. I'm from West Bay, Missouri. I'm riding a Rocky Mountain. Her name is Timber Hills Rosalita. And we're here to have a good time. I'm Debbie Novi from Hillsboro, Missouri. And this is Molly. My name is Tex Holliday. I'm from Harrisonville, Missouri. This is my good horse, Reno. My name is Ken Esther from Honey Creek, Iowa. And this is Coda. 
My name is Barbara Smith. This is Stormy, and I'm also from Hennepin Creek, Iowa. Since purchasing the property in 2014, Ethan and Marie are constantly improving and expanding their facilities to accommodate the wish lists of their guests and to keep up with the growth of their clientele. They have added sites with full hookups, improved the old barns and bathhouses, built a new cabin, and built another large covered horse barn at the back of the equine campground. The equine campsites are very large and shaded with plenty of room to visit with friends. There are many other activities for those members of the family who do not ride. We do have Montauk State Park, which is located three miles from us uh, for trout fishing. They do have a restaurant and store. Uh, we do have Happy Pappies that is close to us also, and Glenna makes the best pies around. Uh, for all of you that like to canoe or kayak, we do have a couple of outfitters that are close to us in the area. And we also have an off-road park that's just a few miles from us, uh, flat and nasty. Trails for your ATVs, four-wheelers, uh, any off-road vehicle you may have, Jeeps. Uh, they even have radio-controlled trails for them. We have some, a little something for everybody out here. If you enjoy the outdoors, we will find something for you out here. Guests always enjoy authentic Western music and songs by Best of America by Horseback host Del Shields. Del put on a concert Saturday evening for the guests, which included many well-known Western songs, as well as his own original songs like this favorite, A Wanted Man, from his CD, Wanted. No evidence, the sheriff wanted the same girl too, and that is why. Surely swing from braided rope on a big old tree and love will be his plea. He's got a horse, he's got a gun, a wanted man out on the run. They put that bounty on his head, five thousands what they say. downtown Duke. Burn, Mineola, Texas, first class table. What kind of special events can people look for in your calendar here? Holidays, we cook meals and everything. Everybody comes to the pavilion. We'll have line dancing and karaoke and music. So if folks want to uh, learn about that, they can go to the website. Yeah, website or Facebook. I think any of our viewers that want a place to go to relax and, and maybe ride their horse, float, this is the place to come, yeah. and uh, we're very proud that uh, this is part of Best of America by Horseback's journey. So thank you so much. I'm happy to be a part of it. You're doing a great job. Well, thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Best of America by Horseback is visiting the Ozarks, riding with viewers on a return trip to Pinecrest Campground and Cabins. The trails here vary from wide groom trails and fields that any level rider can enjoy to more challenging single track trails through the mountains. In camp, there is a covered pavilion with a full kitchen and a large outdoor patio and fire pit. The facility is perfect for hosting group events for clubs, corporate, or family outings. Owners Ethan and Marie host several annual rides and holiday events throughout the year, like their annual Halloween ride, 
where people decorate their campsites, ride a haunted trail, and bob for apples with her horses. Ethan and Marie have seen a steady increase in their business and are expanding the campground with additional campsites and covered horse stalls. Are you ever going to be satisfied you finally got it right or are you just going to keep <laughs> adding to and tweaking? Oh, well, I'll have to have something to do when I get everything done, so I'll probably never be done. So, yeah, we'll probably keep changing things. It'll still be a while before well, we get everything completed. We're already on our redoing list. The, the shower house we redid because I wanted to change things a little bit, so. <laughs> I did tell him I, I love the size that we're at right now. Um, I like being able to know the people when they come in, building a relationship with everyone. Um, I feel that if we get too big, you can't take care of your people and you don't get to know them as well. Being the size that we are, we are able to get out and visit with everybody and get to know everybody. If there's one thing you could say uh, to our viewers about Marie and Ethan and a reason to come here, what would that be? They are just amazing, thoughtful people. They will absolutely go out of their way to do anything for anybody. Even if out on the trail a storm rolls in, they're the kind of folks that will go campsite to campsite, pick up chairs, roll in awnings. Like, they're just so thoughtful. This campsite is incredible from what it used to be to now. I mean, just even this, this building, as soon as you pull in here, it's a day and night difference. That's the building in 2014 when we purchased the campground. It scared most people. And then the manicures on the trail is all of it. It's all around awesome. Well, it certainly is a beautiful place. Uh, <laughs> Marie and Ethan are, are exceptional people. And uh, our stay here so far has just been um, amazing. Our, our uh, other campers, our other riders are having a fantastic time. And good, so uh, good. it's all part of the bigger picture. And yeah. so we're grateful. Thank you for Thank being you here with so us. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you. If riding clubs want to come for an event here, you've got the pavilion, you've got the tables, you've got the kitchen facilities, you've got the showers. So, so the, for the groups that want to come in, you welcome riding groups to come in and, and visit and have uh, fundraisers or yep. events here. Yep. Even though the camp site is beautiful, the part of Missouri here is beautiful, the facilities are excellent. This whole place is really a reflection on the two of you. you. Don't see any people coming through Yaha wild events. It's a family place that you can feel comfortable at. That reflects on the values the two of you have. Is that fairly accurate? Yes, it is. We've tried very hard to make this a family friendly campground. Added playground equipment. Mm -hmm. So well, we realize a lot of women come out here in small groups and ride so we want to make sure that everybody feels safe here so we are always here and always keeping an eye on things even through the night we check on things for more information on visiting Pinecrest campground and cabins in Salem Missouri you can log on to their website pinecrestcampground.com or call Ethan and Marie Tuttle at 573-548 Three, three, two, two. Dale, this has been a wonderful weekend with old friends and new friends here at Pinecrest Campground. Absolutely. Your highlight would be what? Oh, the trails were just uh, amazing to ride. They've done a great job. Ethan worked so hard to clean up the trails, groom them, and uh, folks here really enjoyed the activities. Your music was as good as I've ever heard it. Thank you. And people just love it. We love to hear you. If you'd like to visit with Best of America by Horseback and see where we're going, visit our website or our Facebook page. Like us on Facebook and we'll tell you where we are, where we're going, how you can join us and be on Best of America by Horseback. We would love for you to be with us. 
I'm Tom C. with Dell Shields. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.